Welcome to our read-along of Earthquakes. Remember, when you hear the sound, turn the page. Anchorage, Alaska, March 27, 1964. It was Good Friday, just two days before Easter. At first, it seemed like a normal day. People were at work. Kids were at home after school. Then the world changed. An earthquake struck. The ground shook, buildings toppled, houses fell into the sea. Cracks opened in the earth. Some were 30 feet wide. A mountain was ripped in two. One minute the world was normal. Four minutes later it was tilted and torn and crooked and broken. The earthquake in Alaska was the worst ever recorded in the United States. It did a lot of damage. But what made it happen? What causes an earthquake? The earth is like a big ball. The center is the core. It is made of metal. The temperature is hot enough to melt iron. The middle layer is very, very hot rock. This is the mantle. On top of the mantle floats the rocky crust. The crust is from 5 to 30 miles thick. The crust is made of several huge pieces. Each piece is called a plate. The plates move very, very slowly over the mantle. Sometimes two plates rub or scrape against each other. Pressure builds up in the rock. Sooner or later, somewhere in the crust, something gives. Two sides of rock snap free from each other. This makes an earthquake. There are parts of the world that have many earthquakes. There are parts that never have them. Most earthquakes happen where two plates meet. A big crack in the earth runs through California. A crack like this is called a fault. This one is the San Andreas Fault. It goes on for hundreds of miles. A lot of earthquakes happen near a fault. That's because two plates come together here. People may build a fence, then an earthquake hits. It makes the fence break. Now there is part of a fence on either side of the fault. A machine called a seismograph measures earthquakes. It records the shaking of the earth on a roll of paper. The machine rates earthquakes starting with one. You couldn't even feel a one. With a level three, the ground shakes. What about a six? An earthquake with a rating of six or higher, you wouldn't forget. There is also another way to measure earthquakes. It measures the damage from an earthquake. Right where the rock snapped has the highest rating, but farther away, the same earthquake has a lower rating. That's because farther away, there is less damage. When a big quake hits, there is danger from fires. In 1906, a big earthquake hit San Francisco. It was early morning. People ran out of their homes in their pajamas. Buildings shook. Inside the building, stoves fell over. Flames leaped out of the stoves. The wood houses caught on fire. Soon, almost the whole city was burning. The earthquake also broke many water pipes. So firemen had a hard time fighting the fires. In two days, fire destroyed 500 blocks. With other quakes, there is danger of flooding. On May 22, 1960, an earthquake hit Chile in South America. Chile is on the Pacific coast. The quake made big waves in the ocean. The waves moved across the ocean. They got bigger and bigger. Fifteen hours later, the waves hit Hawaii. They were 33 feet high. Scientists knew this would happen. They had asked everyone to stay away from the beaches. But the scientists did not plan for what happened next. The waves kept going. Seven hours later, they struck Japan, and no one was ready. Scientists want to tell when a quake is coming. That way, everyone could be ready. Some scientists think the animals know. 
one day in Japan in 1977, there was a little earthquake. Was a bigger one on the way? Scientists watched animals closely. Many did strange things. A rabbit climbed onto a roof. Rats walked on telephone wires. Snakes crawled out of the ground and froze on the snow. Hours later, a big quake hit. Right now, there is no sure way to predict an earthquake, but builders make stronger buildings. They use steel, not wood. In a quake, these buildings sway instead of fall. And there are things you can do in an earthquake. If you are outside, stay away from buildings, tall trees, and power lines. Go to an open space like a parking lot. If you are inside, don't go near windows or mirrors. They may shatter. Hide under a big table or stand in a doorway. Never ride an elevator. Go down a stairway instead. When the building stops shaking, get out. Some buildings stay up during a quake, but they can topple down later. Every day there are about 1,000 earthquakes around the world. Almost all are mild ones. Earthquakes will never stop happening. They are a part of the shifting, changing planet we live on.